Babe, you almost ready? Cause you said it started at five and it's four forty-two. So yeah, we're late to the movie. Vlog number four. My people. Alright, well shit. Alright, so this one on this one on right now, bro. I just gotta get this out. Anybody that's like got hella ideas and like dreams and shit and you know you just your end goal in life is to like really be successful. When I say successful, I'm not talking about an M like you got money come in where you don't check your bank account no more type of shit. Like, you just you just that well off where somebody call you mama or somebody call you like I need 50k or I want 50k not even like emergency. Alright I'm gonna send the wire right check it in like 10 minutes or however long. I don't know how much wire how, how long it takes to wire so my heart is the fastest. I ain't never wired no shit before because I ain't, I ain't reached that yet. But long story short I've been telling everybody I know or around me or whatever just people I really fuck with that I'm gonna be a millionaire by 30. But that's one M and not I'm gonna have a choir one million by 30. And I've been saying this for a long time. I, I recently kind of, like I want, I, don't, I ain't gonna never leave these trucks alone. Like I'm trying to buy some eventually. Like, like I'm still gonna buy some as this being my only business, how it was for a second. Cause I was like, whatever. But I just kind of been like discouraged by the truck and shit. Cause it just seemed kind of like, Ugh. like those last two, the, the last video I posted before this one, where I had two, uh, it was a Peterbilt and a Kenworth on there. I did look a little whatever. I had talked to him for a little minute, asking how long to get that. The red truck that uh, Peterbilt, the man said it took 25 years to get that truck and then eight more years to get it looked that way. That shit, yeah, it took him um, a long ass time. It took him about 32 years to get that truck and trailer. And then the other guy, I forgot how long he said. It took him a while too though, but like, it was like, it's gotta be a passion, don't do it for the money. I'm not doing anything for free. So, it's gonna be for some money. But I get what they're saying, but um, I'm still selling this 30, I mean, my bad. <laughs> that'd be nice to get 30 million, but uh, 30, that'd be probably scary. But, I'm gonna touch an M, and I, I, I've been telling people, I was like, I don't know how or what, but it's gonna happen. But bro, it's like, you stay like solid, stand ten toes on something. You say like it could be something personal, like like a goal you set, whatever. And you don't stress about shit when shit fails. The fucking like shit gonna start falling on your lap, cause man, I ain't gonna talk about it, cause I don't learned it. Like when you talk about shit, it, for some reason, whatever, it don't happen. I ain't told nobody about this shit that me and some people have been like talking about, planning out, and like this shit is falling together so easily. Like it's not even like questionable or nothing. Like we know everything we need to do. This, 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 this. And I ain't saying I'm get rich off this, or we gonna get rich off this, but this shit gonna, gonna get the ball rolling. And I'm t saying that to say, the shit I'm talking about is some shit I had no idea about or even thought about doing until like recently. And I say that to say, when you stay solid on an idea or a goal you got, and just be positive and like optimistic and just trust like, you know, God got a plan, like, uh, um, it's a schedule, like, I know if I if I if I had 100k like like six months ago, even three months ago, I would have fucked it up. I would have fucking bought a C63. I would have put a Whipple supercharger on it, and tune and exhaust wheels, wrapped it, and probably ran through about forty thousand dollars. And then I probably would have used the other to try to start a business, but then I have all the money I need to like keep them up afloat. Yada yada yada, this that that. It wouldn't probably have worked out, but now, like, shit is, I, I refuse to go broke again, like, I'm, I've been blessed enough to have me a, a very getting her bag ass woman in my life that doesn't mind paying for dates and stuff, like, it's not even no 50 50 shit, it's like, I fuck with you, you fuck with me, you ain't got it, I got it, or vice versa, I got it, you ain't got it, like, we good no matter what, like, do whatever we gotta do for each other type shit, so that definitely has helped me a lot, but like, Getting my money back. Look, stay optimistic, stay positive. Don't let nobody tell you, like, oh, that's unrealistic. Like, whatever you're trying to do with your mind, that sounds so cliche, but like, just stay positive and be like, it's gonna happen. And put the fucking work in. Like, get your money up. Like, save up whatever little money you need. Get your credit right. Gotta think about it. Listen to podcasts. Like, yeah, that's, I don't know why niggas be acting so funny about podcasting. Like, I learned a lot of shit. And I probably 50, it's probably a good 
60-40% on music, I mean on podcast to music ratio of what I listen to seven days a week, not seven, five to seven, because some days I don't work seven days a week, but you know what I'm saying, the clock is going to put you on game, like, it's literally like so much free game out there, and niggas over here charging off for sauce and shit, you can Google that shit, bro, or go on YouTube, YouTube got the answer to every fucking question, yeah, that was a little, what do you call that, not no interlude, this ain't no album, <laughs> What's this day? Day a day with uh, hundred rounds volume? Uh, not volume. A day with hundred rounds part four. Episode four. A day with hundred rounds episode four. But yeah, man, I got to, I get to listen to music sometimes and like drink an energy drink and just get super like. Uh, I'm so thankful, bro. Cause let me go ahead and tell y'all what what the fuck been really going on, bro. All right, so I'm trying to think exactly what fucked myself up. Cause for the longest, like I've been Gucci, like you know. I might be check, check y'all out of this there, but like I always still had some extra money to like play around with. Like I, I've been having fun out here, but then my freaking car got in a little situation where I spent a lot of money trying to get it to a shop, and then spent a lot of money on Ubers because they'll take forever to fix it. I'm trying to do it the right way with insurance and shit. That shit put a big ass hole in my pocket. Oh no, it wasn't even that that fucked me up. It was when I got this damn car, low keys, when like shit started getting a little crazy. Cause I, I had, you know, went through a little moment where I was struggling with stack money and uh, saving up, and I saved up. The transmission in my old car went out, fuck, you know, mad as hell. Then I, you know, went to a dealership instead of getting another uh, new transmission, or whatever. Got me a Benz, whatever, you know, lit as hell. Down payment on that, whatever. It wasn't crazy, but that little bit kind of fucked me up, or whatever. Where I was getting loans and shit from family or whatever. Which, you know, they, they looked out for me. It's really one person. I ain't gonna say the name. It's gonna start some drama. But, uh, freaking fast forward. You know, like, kind of just. I don't know what I was spending money on, but the shit was getting gone, bro. I wasn't saving or nothing. Then my car got in a little accident kind of situation. That was a big money pit. Like, I kept losing money. Insurance won't, like, a deductible and shit. I'm over here learning about this guy. I never had to do no shit like this. And, you know, I kept getting fucked up. And then I, then my, my shit I had on auto pay. Like, I have a lot. Most of my bills are on auto pay because I'm just, I be forgetting shit. But my car got hit. For whatever reason, it disconnected auto pay. And I didn't pay a bill that I forgot about. And that shit had laughed. Well, it had, like, stacked up. Because, you know, like, you, some bills, they, like, add up if you pay it later whatever. So, had a whole bunch of big ass bills unexpectedly, paying them shit, struggling, taking loan after loan, and shit beating up my mental, cause like, like, I'm a grown ass man, got a good fucking job, and like, you steady asking for money, it's like, it makes you look weird, and I ain't never liked the type of people in, in the family, or like, in just like, I never liked movies and shit, niggas always ask for money, I was like, damn, I became no big ass nigga type shit, which ain't nobody talked down to me, and everybody was like, you know, very, um, Believing in me, like, be like, man, ain't nobody worried about giving me money because they, they just believe that I'm going to be great, which I also believe in that too. Like, I'm gonna be good regardless. Like, but whatever that shit's beating down on, yada yada yada. I really hope the audio works on here because they don't. I've talked for no reason. Damn, what, what the world I getting at? I just say this, like, this last, like, this last first month, you know, rent, whatever, I was, like, kind of getting, like, a little assistance on my rent. I would pay it back, so I'm still paying all my rent. I just couldn't do it by myself when it was due type shit. Thank God I got people in my life that look out, I, that look out for me when I need it. But this month, I didn't need no help. I paid all my shit by myself. And then I got a bonus. And then my homie brought up that we had a shoot coming up, so that's more money coming in. This shit didn't start happening till I stopped stressing out and like crying over being broke. Like, oh my God, I hate being poor, bro. Like, not having no money, that shit is not funny. It's not fun at all, bro. I don't see how niggas go outside with no money in their pocket. I don't see how niggas talk to a female with no money in their pocket. Not even, I'm not no trick ass nigga, but like, a female is a bill in one way or another, bro. Cause most, most females, like, they always wanna go on dates. They wanna go, now I'm talking about my girl, but my girl uh, got that bag and she gon' She'll pay for shit if I ain't got no money. But that's that's different because most that it's less a rare occasion. Most of these girls, especially in Atlanta, bro, they looking for niggas with money. And if you ain't got no money, they gon' cheat on you. They gon' disrespect you. This and that. And that's really awesome. Like 
you just can't pay for y'all dinner or you know a little simple shit like you know get her nails done which i don't do that a lot but i, I mean I, every now and then she worked it out if you can't do that bro that shit is fucking stretching out so you just in the house you know playing games and shit all day not saying no i don't say that i love playing i still do this shit but until i started like locking in and just being like you know fuck it whatever happens happens I'm going to get this shit regardless. This shit going to work. I'm very uh, secure on my actions. I'm a hundred. Got both feet in. This shit going to work. And I believe, I honestly believe in the next two years. And this is me gassing because I said the same shit in a meeting the other day. And this motherfucker told me six months we could be on some shit that I'm talking about being on two years. But this is me being more like, this is what I know. I ain't, I ain't made no big shit happen, you know, quicker than I uh, intended it to happen. Yeah, man, shit about to really change. And I'm just doing it just for documentation purposes. So, like, whatever, in the future, I can make this. I could, I could post a clip from this conversation and then post a, like, fast forward and say I told you so. And me and people I'm doing this business with, we all in the vehicles and got the nice homes and shit. And that's just a smidgen of the success that we gonna show for motivational purposes only. But enjoy the rest of the video. I ain't gonna lie, this segment might just be by itself because I've probably been talking for a solid 10 minutes. Really, I don't know about, I don't know what kind of shit I'm doing. I just post these videos and go on episodes. I ain't about to try to go crazy and title nothing. Just trying to get this shit out because I'm on the road too fucking much. Sitting on my ass not doing shit. I felt like a bum. So I started vlogging again on the road. Giving myself some extra shit to do while I'm on the road. Oh yeah, y'all follow my TikTok, cause that's where the real shit at my not real shit, my bad, my bad, my bad. I fuck my YouTube people real heavy. Y'all been here since y'all was the first people that fuck me. But y'all TikTok is really like supportive as shit. They they run up like everything I post. It's pretty cool. It's kind of annoying. I spent thousands of dollars on this camera and shit to work with the camera and stuff and my damn phone is what got me the viral content. Whatever, I'm gonna start trying to send niggas to, I mean, send people from TikTok to YouTube. But yeah, man, like, subscribe, leave a comment below if I was motivational. Or if I just gave you some 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 game, or, or if I was talking about some bunch of stupid shit. But if, I, if, you th if you thought I was saying something dumb as hell, that ain't make no sense, you're probably dumb as hell, you probably broke. You probably ain't got nothing to look, live for. You, you probably, you know what, let me stop. That's so unnecessary. And I don't want to put that negative energy out. It, it doesn't matter if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Just I hope I hope that the people that matter is picking up what I'm putting down type shit. Because it's enough money in this world for all of us. I think I'm in the oven because this shit hot. When them shells hit them bitches hot. And fuck the dirty bitch, now your piss hot. I paid six for my clock. Now I'm in PSA looking for a mop. When I ride street, I hit straight drop. Is you pouring up? Is it straight drop? I'm in a dodge, but I'm not a cop. Yo, engine suck, that, that yeah. bitch not. Two stuck to 2J, that bitch pop. Yo, bitch, a freak made a pussy pop. She said she feel like she on a yacht. On my dick, that, that bitch rock. Shotgun a beer like Kid Rock. I'm drunk as fuck, I can't walk. Too much money, too much guap. He got jug with the re rock. First time I move the pack, I flood the block. It's in my blood, I get it from my pops.